Hey everybody, we have a little Sephora haul today. Um, let me just say, a foundation stick, a multitasking palette, these items can only be out in the wild for so long before I pounce. So we got them, we're gonna try them today. I got a few other little odds and ends as well, so let's get going. Why was I on Sephora's website to begin with? Well, I was actually just restocking some things I ran out of. So I've been using the serums from The Ordinary for what seems like quite a while now. I used to use different serums from Glossier and now I realized I was spending way more than I needed to and got the same if not better results from the Ordinary Serums. So I needed a new niacinamide and zinc, so I got that. And then I got the Hyaluronic Acid and B5. I've also run out of the Ascorbic Acid one, the Vitamin C, but I don't know if they've changed that serum, like renamed it something else. They're not still carrying that one. I'm not sure what I should replace that with. The gist of that one was like evening skin, brightening skin. Um, if there's something else you'd recommend to me, let me know. The other one that I used that I haven't run out of is the caffeine solution for under eyes. I also got this. I noticed Laneige has a new lip sleeping mask and this one is the watermelon pop. Yeah, we are experiencing this stuff together for the first time. Does anybody really use these cute little spatulas? They're adorable, but I just use my fingers. I love how the packaging is green and pink. Oh, I'm smelling watermelon. Let me like really break into it so I can get the full. Yes. And I know it says lip sleeping mask, but I sometimes use these as like a lip balm to start my day. I have the caramel apple one over there and I love that. But I'm also a huge watermelon fan. That scent takes me back to watermelon lip smackers and just being a kid wearing lip balm. Definitely wanted to try this. It's not too strong, but it is really good. A really sweet watermelon and the packaging is just, again, so cute. I mentioned there was a foundation stick going on. It's from Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint Hydrating Foundation Stick. It says science plus color. They got optical blur technology and hyaluronic acid. Soft focus blur effect plus light diffusing glow. They claim some long-term skin benefits as well. Yeah, it would seem by all descriptions that this is not going to have a lot of coverage, but we're only gonna know once we try it for ourselves. So here's this stick. It's pretty packaging. I do like that. I got the shade Four Fair. Looking like this. Let's just begin to swipe it on. Sliding on really easy. Very easy. It's seeming thin, perhaps a little greasy. Um, I'm not saying it's gonna be greasy, but as it goes on, it's that type of a feel. And can you see how that product is catching light. The actual stick itself, this is gonna be glowy, I think. I dampened my makeup sponge, but I'm thinking maybe for this I'll use a brush. I'm gonna bring in my e.l.f. duo brush. I mean, this time of year is definitely a time where I'm not necessarily needing a ton of coverage, but I am wanting more moisture. Not that there's a certain time of year where it's like it's my season for coverage, but somehow I think I do feel a little more drawn to that in the winter months. I'll go full coverage anytime on any day randomly, but the biggest need for my skin right now I think is moisture. And I am a normal skin type, but I'm just out in the pool a lot in the afternoons and it can really dry out my skin. So I'm seeing a ton of glow from this. Um, a recent launch that this is kind of reminding me of is the ABH Beauty Balm stick. That one had a lot of moisture and not a ton of coverage. This one is like that, but the glow is stepped up even more. I mean, look at the glow bouncing off my cheeks right now. Um, one thing I'll tell you, I'm seeing my pores more. <laughs> I most definitely am right in here. I'm seeing pores where I didn't really think I had a pore problem. Super duper dewy to the touch, feeling very dewy as well. I can tell you right now, I know this is gonna have to be set a little bit. Like I can't go around all day, especially if I start to sweat. That's the odd juggling that we do in the summer. I feel like my skin's getting drier as a whole, but yet I'm still outside a lot and I still may sweat. It really looks fresh and glowy, I gotta say, from about this distance. But if I bring in real close, I don't know if you can see. Just pores and texture, kind of right in here. I don't have a brand new concealer or setting powder, but for the purposes of you seeing this complexion routine kind of evolve, I'm gonna do those steps on camera. I'm gonna use Tower 28 concealer. This is in the shade CC. I really like this concealer and kind of coming off of some sensitive skin moments. It's just one I can really feel good about using. And for that, I will come in with my sponge. 
I would love to hear if you've tried that foundation stick, like what kind of staying power have you experienced with it? Obviously I can't comment on that right now, but I think it would greatly vary by skin type and just your circumstances. <laughs> okay, I need to work that around my nose a little bit more. All right, so there's my juicy skin, but yet I've got some under eye coverage now and just a little bit of redness coverage. I'm going to take my one size powder in translucent. She's kind of staying on a Sephora train here. Hi, kitten. I got biscuits in here. She's in her uh, pink director's chair, keeping me on track. I'm just going to pat some of this on my under eye and my T-zone, and then we'll kind of see how the skin's feeling. I think I'm probably going to want to lightly set elsewhere, too. Have I told you guys that my Kohl's now has a Sephora in it? Yeah, they just snuck it in there. Like I'm going through town on my way to church one Sunday and I notice it says Kohl's plus Sephora. <laughs> and we went in there getting some Father's Day stuff and I scoped it out and it's like, it's, it's very mini Sephora, like real scaled down Sephora, but still a lot of stuff. You could tell it's a lot of the best selling kinds of stuff, but I'm super excited to just be able to run in there and I don't know, grab something I need sometime. So now I have access to an Ulta that's no doubt one of the biggest, most well-stocked, most brand-heavy Ultas that I've ever been in. We would had one in the same town. They just switched locations and it just grew. And then now we've got Sephora and Kohl's. I feel like Sephora could have maybe contacted me and been like, we got any beauty people in Southern Illinois? Maybe they could help get the word out. Instead, it's just like, just pop it on the sign one fine day. The people will find out. That's cool too. My under eyes are now set. I'm not feeling quite as dewy as I first was with that foundation. Well, yeah, I kind of am. The one thing I'm not loving about it is how I really feel like I'm seeing a texture on my skin. Like at certain angles, as light hits, all that shimmer that's in this stick really exaggerates some skin texture and it's an up close thing far away you just look like a radiant little goddess isn't that the way it goes so much with shimmer and makeup i am gonna set then a little bit i don't want to take my glow totally away so i'm reaching for a powder that's gonna maintain that a bit this is my huda glowish powder it's called luminous press powder my shade is light and yeah i've hit pan on it i love it these items, though, by the way, that I'm talking about in this video, I did not get from my cold Sephora. I ordered them online. But yeah, we can just dab this on and feel like we're a little more set. I'm obviously not quite as glowy as I... Hey, Betty. Hey. What up? <laughs> <laughs> this stuff leaves a little glow. I feel better about the way the surface of the skin looks after having a little bit of it on. I think I'll have better staying power today. I mentioned I got a multitasking palette. This is from NARS. It's their Laguna Ultimate Face Palette 1, it says. They put in several face shades here. So it's Laguna 02, the original. This is Laguna 4, and this is Drift Away, a highlighter. It's not quite a film, but we got a plastic sheet to remove. And then we got several eyeshadows up there. I think I thought in the picture that maybe one of those was not a bronzer, but actually a blush, but they're clearly both bronzers. But I can apply some of that today. I'm going to start off with the little bit deeper Laguna around the hairline. Laguna. Who's still reaching for their Laguna all the time? NARS really likes to keep that a focal point of the line, I feel. Looks really good. Up around the hairline, this shade. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that. I might take the um, O2 and just bring it in here a bit. I just thought this would be a fun little multitasker for summer. The shades looked very, like, honestly a lot like what I used in the Milani Luminoso palette literally just yesterday. But I always like the multitasking ability, and I'm down for trying something new. going to bop between. Kind of working a little bit of that lighter Laguna up a bit higher, but all in all, I feel like it's a really good contour shade. The reason I go a little deeper on the forehead sometimes, like, it, it's kind of that J-Lo effect, you know? I've always been kind of inspired by how she's always got that great bronzed up forehead, but also just thinking logically, I feel like that's an area that naturally gets just a little more bronze than the rest of my face. So, okay, that's looking good. Not a new blush from this haul, but guys, the cream blushes that have been getting sent my way in PR, I've got new ones from Lawless, I've got new ones from Buxom, I've got two new sticks from Persona. Like, I don't have enough cheeks to show all these, but I've really been trying them all out. We've also got these from Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Highlighting Blush 
and Complexion Rescue Blush and Bronzer. This is what the Buxom ones look like. They're extremely creamy. Lawless ones, really great shades, maybe a slight bit less creamy than the Buxom. Um, let's use the Lawless one. Thing is, I have to open them all to really see like what's the shade I wanna use. My lip color may be a little rosy. Okay, I'm gonna use this shade called Angel from Lawless. So they're called the Pinch My Cheeks Soft Blur Cream Blush. Um, it has almost a, I wouldn't say cream to powder, but maybe a little bit more of a velvety feel to the touch. I'm gonna take some on my Sephora 56 and just kind of work it up high here. Oh, I also, uh, when I got my little thing for my Fenty um, tinted moisturizer, remember I got the moisturizer, but I didn't get the case. <laughs> Next time around, I got the case, but then I also got a little thing with my points. I got this from Basma or Bosma. Look at this. How cute is this? <laughs> That's a cream blush as well. So lots of things to test and talk about. These are very effortless, I feel, these ones from Lawless. The texture is such that they are not a struggle whatsoever. The packaging design very much lends itself to just like bopping a brush in and going with it. And I wanted to use one of these lighter shades so you could maybe get a little idea of what that would be like, you know, if it would be enough, because I do feel like it's enough, it's buildable. And then we've got the highlighter back in the NARS palette. I kind of feel like that blush took away the look of texture in places where I definitely saw some before. Interesting. So we're gonna pop back in here. Again, this is called Drift Away. And drift away. A little, ooh, it looks kind of um, like a very soft gold. It looks more golden on the skin than it does in the pan. Oh, that's pretty. I dig. Getting a little bit on, and then if you see me take my brush away, I kind of clean off the brush. So I'm only working with what I first dabbed on, not getting way more than necessary. And then I just buff. It's Real Technique setting brush. Still using that one that I took the end off of because the end got all sticky. Like this brush has been with me for a while. It still works fine. Might as well keep it. Skin's looking very radiant. Um, what I'm gonna do next, my friends, is do my brows, and then we can do a little eye look with what's in here. I do have a lip color and another little random thing to share. Okay, brows are this, Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, and the e.l.f. Um, brow Laminating Gel, one of their new products. Works really well, holds very well. Put on Milani Eyeshadow Primer, and now we're gonna just work with these little shadows in my NARS palette. It looks like One True Matte, this is a satin, and these are both kind of glimmery shades on the end. I'm gonna work with the matte first, looking real peachy. And we'll get that going in the crease. I just love a multitasking product so much. <laughs> Part of it's just the practical convenience of like, if you wanna take this on vacation, yeah, you're gonna eliminate some of the individual bulkiness that multiple different products create. But also, I kind of like when there's a cohesive, sort of well-rounded, well-thought-out look within the palette. You know, the thought that these shadows are gonna really play well with a bronzy look. Somebody's figured that out, and then, boom, we just put it together. So I'm just taking that now. My brush has less product on it, and I'm really blending out the edges so it doesn't really look like there's a stark ending to that shade. You also do have the face highlight that could come up under the brow as I don't really see any of these other shades being an underbrow highlight. Then I'm gonna take this kind of rusty color right here that does have a satin finish, but that doesn't mean it can't do crease stuff. It's gonna actually deepen for us a little bit there, see? And of course you also have your bronzers that can make easy eyeshadows too. So anything can be eyeshadow in this one. I am loving that particular shadow. The way that's getting in the outer corner, just really blending up and out. I wanna see how it pats on. It's just a really good depth level, but yet keeping it easy, you know? I'm gonna get some of that. What's that color called? That's Heat Spell. The first one I used was Unwind. This is Spritz and this is Sizzle. I like the word sizzle. So this is just some of that, again, satin finish, deepest looking color right there. It's like a darkened copper, dirty penny type of vibe. Um, taking small pointed brush from Profusion just because quite a bit of product just got applied there and I can move it around and shape it how I want to. I mean, we can get a fairly dramatic look with this seemingly natural palette just by working that shade kind of out and around. It's just a little summer hazy look, isn't it? I love it. Just taking my original blending brush 
going over the edge. Easy. This is what these colors are looking like. We've got this one that's kind of coppery. It does have some embedded golden shimmer, coppery shimmer, and then we've got the gold. And I think this is kind of the point where you decide, do I want to continue on with just the straight up copper or do I want to bring in some gold? I think I'm going to continue with this. Let's just go there. <laughs> Three textures of a, kind of a similar tone of shade. Really pretty, very monochromatic within the whole eye look, you know? And I like this shade because it has some shimmer, but it still has a lot of pigment. Super duper warm. You know what I haven't used in a while? This Epic Smoke from NYX. Um, it's that angled liner. It has a blender brush on it too. The liner is kind of teardrop shaped, but it's always been really good staying power and just looks really pretty on the lower lash line. So no, it's not a jumbo stick, but it's thicker than your average liner. I wonder what even a little bit of that would look like on the upper. It is contrasting a little bit with um, those tones. It's kind of lightly along the lash line. Softest ever liner. But it does the smoky lower lash line thing so well. That's my main reason for having it and using it. And I do just keep it among my shadow sticks because I just think of it in that regard. I often put a shadow stick down there and this does the same kind of thing. Again, that shade name is Nude Haze. So next I'm gonna pop on some mascara and then we'll talk lips. Alrighty guys, there on the lashes I used um, Tartlet Tubing top and bottom. And then for lips, I got something from Tower 28 that I don't think is super new. It's one of their little chubby sticks here called Juice Balms, Tinted Lip Balm. And I got the color called Shake. I just, I like Tower 28 stuff quite a bit. And I thought, why haven't I tried that? So this is the color. It looks, let me, let me swatch it out on my hands. Wow, it's going to be really sheer, but it looks like a sheer pink. It is giving off some color, and I really like the feel going across my lips. You can build it up, definitely. Moisture feels good. Mmm, cute. Just adding to that glow and shine all over the skin. To me, it felt like we were very glowy after this. And then for the purposes of staying power, we mattified in some areas and kind of mattified all over in a sense. Although that powder, that Huda powder doesn't make us fully matte, but then we restored that glow. We brought it right back, but on our own terms in a powder finish with the highlighter. Um, what an easy, casual, kind of vacation-friendly look. And then this is the last thing I got um, from Rare Beauty. There's this line of products called Find Comfort, and she's got a body, hair and body mist that I already have that I love. I love the smell of this. There's a hand cream. Um, does she have a body cream? But I got this Stop and Soothe Aromatherapy pin. I remember when when Pup and I would go shopping and we'd be like in an Osco drug or a Walgreens and we would always stop at the candles and we'd call it aromatherapy, smelling all the scents. And now whenever I take my girls somewhere, we stop and we smell those candles. It says, find comfort wherever you are. This weightless, fast absorbing gel has a soothing peppermint and lavender scent that helps you relax and refresh the senses on the spot. This is what it looks like. I love the color of this little range. Oh, you're gonna push it up from the bottom. Them. Oh, there's a little gel. So yeah, it's it's its own little scent. Wow, that's really good. Mm. So you're not really getting the scent that's in the body mist. This is definitely geared toward, for sure, aromatherapy, soothing peppermint and lavender. Mm, I really like that. And it shows you here, neck, you can do temples and behind the ear. That's neat, what a different kind of product. To finish off this look, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Kosas Cloud Set in Airy little brush here and just do a little smoothing number on under eye, this little plane of the face, you know where I'm working with, between the brows. After I do that, I feel like, yeah, now the shimmer's really just more pinpointed, not just all over the place. But what's the takeaway on what we use today? Let me see. Love you. Can you smell my aromatherapy? It's a little click up pin and you can like bop it on yourself and it, yeah, it makes you feel soothed. Do you feel soothed? No. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. And everybody, make sure to check out my daddy's office. Oh, look at that marketing. And he has popsicles for the kids that want popsicles.
<laughs> so in this video, outside of the serums, we know about the ordinary serums, but it wasn't like all that much new stuff. We had a palette that just did a lot for us. Personally, I love this, and I do like using these nighttime and morning. For night, I've been using my e.l.f. Holy Hydration. Do they call it a lip sleeping mask? It's in the little pot. That's kind of my go-to night thing. So lately, if I get a new Laneige one, like the last one I got was the Caramel Apple. Love that. That's a great little fall one, but this is definitely summer vibes to me, that watermelon scent. I love it. It takes me back. The Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint Hydrating Foundation Stick from Charlotte Tilbury. The look I was getting on my skin right after application. It was like Hollywood Flawless Filter with maybe a little more coverage in it. That was kind of the overall finish. It was extremely glowy, I thought. Maybe even a little more glowy than what I get with Flawless Filter, just given the texture of this stick being a cream as opposed to a liquid. But as you can see, you know, you add in some concealer, you do some setting powder. The look feels very wearable to me right now. Like, I suspect I will have decent staying power. But I really like trying it, and they're definitely stepping out and doing something different from everyone else, because we do have some foundation sticks that give you some hydration, right? We've seen that, but really making it luminous, putting some actual sheen in there, that's kind of a unique thing. And I do welcome having something different in my collection, and I'm excited to work with this in some different ways, um, approach it with varying levels of setting on top, and just kind of seeing what I can get away with with this stick. But I will say, I did feel like my pores and any skin texture, I don't feel like I have extremely texturized skin, but you know, everybody's got something. It's not the surface of paper, it's the surface of skin. We got pores and stuff, and I feel like I can see that more, especially before I said anything when this stick goes on. So just be aware of that, if that's one of the specific characteristics you have about your skin. The NARS Face Palette. I think this is really cool, and I like having it, and I personally like multitasking a lot. I think it gives a super effortless, easy vibe, but that being said, it's not essential. I don't come away from this thinking, wow, highly unique, really doing something different. Like, I enjoy those bronzers. I really like the tone of that deeper one, especially. Nice highlight, nicely textured eyeshadows, but the overall color scheme is quite common, and you could certainly save yourself some money just by thinking, okay, I'm gonna duplicate that look or emulate that look by using some similar tones of bronzer and then pulling out my peachy, shimmery, rusty kinds of eyeshadows, and you could be there with your look. But does it give you some added convenience? Yeah. Definitely something that would be nice thrown in the bag for vacation. Now this from Tower 28, this feels amazing on my lips. Feels like a lip smacker. Okay, so like I have one of these, these are called Lip Softies, and to me this feels a little more like thicker, hydrating treatment oriented, whereas this feels like, yeah, immediate instant moisture. I'm doubting it's going to last very long just for its thinness, but it's like a grown-up lip smacker. And it definitely did tint my lips a little bit, which I think is very pretty. That's just a one-step look there. No liner, no nothing. And just talking about things that no one else is doing, the Rare Beauty Aromatherapy Stick I think is really cool. I really like that concept. I like smells. I like soothing smells. Um, if you're not big into peppermint and lavender, then maybe you sit that one out. But I like what they've got going on there. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed just this kind of initial go around with the products and my first take on them, particularly that foundation. Um, that will be coming up again, I think, in conversation here as we try it some different ways going forward. So thank you so much for your time, everyone. I really appreciate it, and I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.